In today's video, my friends, we'll be unboxing and setting up one of the TVs that I've been most looking forward to this year. It's the Sony X90J. Don't forget to hit the red button to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up and click the notification bell to get my next video first. So one of my favorite TVs from 2020 was the previous version of this TV, the X900H or the X90H, and I still love that TV now and it still sits in one of my rooms. But it's a new year and so therefore a new TV and this is the newer version and this time I've gone for the 65 inch version. As you can see my dog is thrilled, yet another TV unboxing, but let's get on with it. Now I don't know whether you agree with me, but when I unbox a Sony TV I always feel that it's just wrapped and packaged a little bit more special than some of the other TV manufacturers out there. Now other than the TV itself, you don't get too much in the way of the other bits and pieces. You get your normal instruction and quick start guide, some very minimal cable management, the nuts to attach this to a bracket, which we'll be doing, the controller, two very substantial and very good looking legs, which I'll show you in just a second, and your power cable. Now speaking of legs, this year on this year's model, you do get two positions for the legs, some central positioning and also the wider. So if you have got a narrower TV stand or TV unit, then you're going to be absolutely fine and no issues there. Last year the X900H only had the wider positioning so it's nice to see that they've changed it right from the off this year. Now the legs are very simple, you just literally push them in and they look good and they also feel substantial. They're made of metal, not plastic. And I think they're really simple, but very effective. Now the TV looks really smart from the back this year. I don't know why they've done this. Maybe um, some people have their back of their TV on display, but it does look a hell of a lot better. Now at its widest point, it's around 47 inches, the TV stand that is, and at its narrowest point, it's around 18 inches. So you've got that choice of different size cabinet. So 18 inches if you're going for the narrow leg position or around 47 inches or 1 meter 20 if you're going from the other. Now this year, like last year, you've got two 4K at 120 HDMI ports, so that obviously is very good as well. The thickness of the TV is slightly thicker than some of the others that you'll see on the market, but it's certainly not a problem. Now I'm going to be wall mounting mine, so I'm going to be using the adapter screws that come with the TV, and now it will work with any wall mount. One thing that you'll notice straight away is I've not taken away any of the packaging, and that's so that you don't damage the TV. So the last thing that you should remove is that protective film and protective foam, if there is some, around the TV screen itself. Once that's all installed and safe, take off the remaining plastic, and then you're ready to set up. Now, one thing to point out for UK viewers and my friends in the United States and elsewhere, please let me know if this is the same for you. At the time of making this video, which is the 1st of July 2021, there are no on-demand services available here in the UK currently with this TV. No 4OD, no My5, no ITV Hub and no BBC iPlayer. So if you're expecting any of those things, you will not get them as of now here in the UK. Please let me know if you're in the United States and whether all of your on-demand services are present. That being said, you can obviously get around that with something like a Fire Stick or an Apple TV or any of those other smart type devices, but very disappointing that they're not present right from the start. I am told though that those things will come later on this year via a software update, but then you do have to trust Sony that they will deliver where they haven't done that with other things as you may remember in the past. Other than that, the setup process is completely simple, exactly what you'd expect, and I'm a real big fan of the Google TV. I think it looks great and it's very, very easy to operate and everything works brilliantly well. The build quality on this TV is far superior than the X80J which I looked at a few weeks ago. That was really very disappointing. Now one of the reasons why I bought this TV for this room is because of the reflections. You can just about see them in the background there, but the OLED TVs that I have are like mirrors. They're fantastic, we all know the benefits of an OLED, but in terms of reflections, they just wouldn't survive in this room. This is about as much as I'm prepared to accept, and as you can see when I look at it on the side, you can still see the window very clearly. 
Now the Sony TVs in the last few years have been absolutely fantastic for the out of the box color accuracy. Now, not many people will pay to get their TV calibrated. And so therefore it's important for most people to get a really good picture straight away. They don't really want to be fussing around changing all the settings too much. And I have to say in standard mode, this TV is absolutely brilliant. It's one of the best that I've seen out of the box. Now we'll go into more detail in terms of the settings and the menu systems in the full review but rest assured if you're picking up this TV and literally you plug it in turn it on put it in standard mode you're gonna be getting an amazing picture it's gonna be something which you absolutely love now if you are seeing a little bit of flickering on the screen here don't worry about it that's my camera frequency you do not see any of that obviously when you're watching the TV itself all you do see is incredible color accuracy sharp vivid bright and brilliant images which are gonna absolutely just blow your socks off. It does look absolutely stunning. Now, a little bit of buying advice for you is to look out for deals with this TV. I managed to pick this TV up with a soundbar and sub thrown in free of charge. There are some great deals out there. And last year's model, the X900H or the X90H, depending on where you live, was one of the most discounted TVs. It did go down from something like 1,400 pounds right down to around the nine or 800 pound mark very, very quickly. So just keep an eye out for that. I will leave links in the description for the latest price in your location. So be sure to check that out. So guys, that's it for this video. The setup is done and we're now gonna move into the review stage. Make sure you hit the red button to subscribe. That will be coming very soon. Thank you so much for watching this video and I really do look forward to seeing you on the next.